Hi there, I hope you're well. Now, a few months back, you might remember I tidied up the back end of the workshop where I had my routers and stuff, got some shelves up, got some nice birch ply boxes and things done. And in this video, well, you're joining me partway through the next phase of the general workshop makeover. In fact, let me, let me spin you around and show you what I've been up to exactly. Because at the other end, I've got a, oops, get those lights out of shot. At the other end, I've cleaned everything up completely. I've got everything off the wall back here. Everything's been given a quick coat of paint. Um, all the shelves are gone. All the contents are here and here are completely in the next room and spread about everywhere else. And I'm going to be doing a similar sort of number on the end wall here, but for the saws, for the track saws, for the plunge saws rather than the routers. In fact, let me, let me show you what I've got planned. This end of the workshop is sort of similar, but not the same. There used to be a doorway to the outside there with a roller shutter, and that's all been bricked up, but it does mean that there's less space at either end. So what we're gonna have, we're just gonna have a, a cabinet, single cabinet at either end, and we'll have a set of shelves between them, a little bit deeper, so coming down a little bit lower with three shelves in, a cabinet here. This, these cabinets again will have either shelves or plywood boxes in, haven't decided what yet. Um, there are some uh, conduit, electrical cables in conduit, which come down behind these. So I haven't been able to put uh, use cabinets with backs on them. I've used the cabinets from the Cabinetry Basic series that didn't have backs in, and they're just gonna be fixed on with corner brackets. Unlike the other end, where I was trying to make that as, as nice as possible, this end is just gonna be a sort of a, a junkyard dog, the sort of mongrel <laughs> end of things, because I don't, I've got some of the same uh, old redwood timber that I used, used to have them as scaffold boards, but not enough to make the whole thing. So the, probably the, the surround, the top and base and the two sides, I'm gonna to have to put a join in the sides, will be made of that. And then the two middle shelves will just be made of whatever I've got, whatever I've, I've got some old oak floorboards, I've got some old decking boards, that kind of thing. And I think the same with the, with the plywood boxes, they're not gonna be sort of pretty birch ply. They're just gonna be made out of whatever I've got. So that's the basic plan anyway. This is as much of a, of, of a, draw, a working drawing as I've got, as we had before. Uh, I think we're just gonna press on and get it done. I've got the cabinets already. I've got a first coat of paint on those, but I've discovered one little snag with those and I'll show you what that is in just a second. Uh, we probably won't finish this project today. This is gonna run over the next couple of videos, I would think, and there's lots more to do in here as well. So we're gonna get quite a few workshop makeover videos over the next few weeks. Um, I'll probably break it up a little bit, do a few other things in between, but there's there's a lot to be done in here, and uh, I'm actually quite looking forward to it. So uh, anyway, let me let me show you what the what the slight niggle is um, with these cabinets and the, and those end uh, panels. So this is the electrical conduit that I mentioned before. It leads down to the outlets here. All the electrics in the workshop are surface mounted like this. And what that means is that we've had to cut a, a little notch out of the cabinets to fit around that. What I found was that when I offered that up into position, this wall and this wall aren't square to each other. And in fact, when I put a, a string line up from one corner to the next, right across, you can see how far out they are. So before I get a second coat of paint on these cabinets, I'm just gonna trim them back a little bit. We need to take a little bit off this inside edge so that they will sit true. The reason for that, of course, is if we mounted them against this wall, 
nothing wrong with that having a bit of a gap on this side but what that means is that these cabinets are towing in either side so when it comes to fit the shelves in they're never going to fit it'll be like a dovetail you'd have to go sort of from underneath or above and that's just not going to happen so these need to be either you know absolutely level so that the shelves can slide right in or maybe even towing out slightly we there's a little bit of adjustment that we can do when we come to fit them but that's that's the biggest problem so i need to figure out how much to take off trim these back with a traxel and then once that's done then we can carry on with a little bit of painting So with everything trimmed back nicely and painting complete, I can start ripping some 18mm strips of birch ply for the cabinet runners. Then fix them into the cabinets with glue and nails. I've made a spacer out of scrap MDF to give me the height, and I'm setting the side rails back by 18mm to allow for the front rail. I keep the spacer in the same orientation when I change sides as this minimises the chance of wobble on the runners. And with the sides all sorted the front rail is simply glued on, held in place with tape and then pinned through the sides. Corner plates next and these are simply screwed onto the back with pilot holes countersunk slightly to keep the plates as flush as possible. I've marked the cabinet height on the left hand side and I'm extending this across to the right using the old school method as my laser level is being used to lay out a quilt, don't ask, and I'm putting the in between marks on tape to avoid marking the freshly painted wall. No, that's not going to last is it? I'm using a clamp in spreader mode to get the cabinet up to height, making sure it's level, then marking the wall through the corner plates drilling the holes, plugging them, and screwing the cabinet into position. And then it's the same again with the right-hand side cabinet. And finally, a quick check with the time-honored two-sticks method shows them to be pretty evenly spaced top to bottom. Good enough for me and certainly good enough for here in the workshop. Um, so yeah, cabinets in, bit more of a fight with that one. The wall, uh, yeah, even though I cut it, it's not great vertically. So anyway, a little, little bit of wedging, a little bit of packing and all is okay. Um, obviously there's a big set of shelves to go between these two and I'm going to leave it there for this week. Um, be sure to join me next week when I start to forage through the workshop for little bits of scrap to try and make a halfway decent looking set of shelves here for the workshop but I'll call this one done for this week thanks ever so much for taking a look uh, thanks as always to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members and while the member credits roll I'll leave you with a little teaser of me starting to disassemble all the bits of scrap and random little bits of wood that I'm going to be using for these shelves but that's it for this one thanks so much for stopping by I'll see you next time all right take care